Hey guys, this is the Panthera version 2 from Eclipse and now they've actually redesigned this to print much better with lightweight PLA which uses minimum movement of the extruder to allow uh, there to be no retractions within the print. So not only does this print really good quality with lightweight PLA but it also prints really fast and the inside of the wing is perfect, there's no string. And then I did print the motor mount out of ABS so that way it's more heat resistant for the motor. Now there's a couple different landing gear options for this. There's a landing gear with a suspension system built into it using a rubber band. Then there's another system that you use a, just a two millimeter wire for the landing gear. Uh, so whichever landing gear system you want to use, this plane is actually designed after the full-scale Panthera, so Eclipse worked with the guys over at Pipstrol and got the actual CAD drawings and everything and replicated the entire plane. It's really cool looking, I can't wait to get this thing all finished up, get it out and fly it. So uh, the fuselage is pretty easy to assemble, just like you guys saw. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start assembling the wing.
Hey guys, this thing looks so good, this uh, new Panthera. I'm excited to fly this, it's super lightweight. Uh, I'm gonna fly it on the main flight on a three cell 1000 milliamp battery. It's a little bit smaller, uh, it's this size battery. I've flown other Eclipse and planes with the size motor and prop set up with this and it works pretty well. There's markings on the bottom of the plane right here where to set the CG, just right down here. So we'll just set the CG right about there. All right, now let's start on the scale and see what we get for a ready to fly weight. About 790 grams ready to fly. That's a really good weight for this size wingspan. For the maiden, it was kind of pitching up a little bit, so I'm gonna shift the CG forward a little bit. Fresh battery, and we'll take it up again. All right, so we moved the battery uh, quite a bit forward. This is a pretty small battery, so it's moved pretty far forward, but if we use like a little bigger battery, you know, you don't have to have it quite that far forward. Uh, just trying to keep the weight as light as possible. So now we got the CG set a little bit more forward. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why this front section is printed out of regular PLA. Uh, it adds strength to the motor mount and adds a little bit of weight uh, to set the CG a little better. Yeah, it's flying much, much better. All right guys, that looks so much better. I moved the CG forward just a little bit. STL files are in the link below, so go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next build.